welcome back. We are once again in the Unlocking Neighborhood Challenge. Today we are with the Burb family. I definitely didn't play this halfway through and then have my game crash and not have saved. That is completely unlike me and how dare you. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm having a lot of issues with my screen recording program. It's decided that it wants to steal focus. I uninstalled it, then reinstalled it, and now it's not recognizing that I bought the product already, so we'll see what happens after my quote-unquote trial is over, even though I own the product. It's just not letting me put a product key anywhere, so. Yay, Cyberlink. Ugh, times like this I want to go back to Mavavi, but then I remember all the issues that I had with Mavavi, and I'm like, eh, I'm good. Seriously, I don't, I don't know why screen recording programs are just, like they'll work for a few months and then all of a sudden it'll start doing something weird. And you'll go, hey, why is it being weird? And they're like, oh, well we have a new product. You should just buy that. And it's like, no, how about your old product not take cues from iPhone? Anyways, I'm not grumpy at all, at all. So this is the new Burb house. I'm trying to remember what I told you. Uh, Last round they had a Ross, which random current scenario, they lost their house. They had to live in a little trailer for a while. It's just a basic brick monstrosity though. Like I was not going for anything fancy. I don't think that John would have wanted to invest that money in that. And Jennifer right now is not focused on hearth and home. She wants to be promoted and we support her in this. So we have the foyer here. At the end is a little bathroom living room situation. The kitchen's pretty empty, kitchen and dining, but I figured there's going to be spots for like kids play tables or something here. It's just they don't have it currently. Over here is the master bedroom, as well as their little master suite. Again, nothing fancy. I believe John likes the color white, Jennifer likes the color green. It might be reversed, but those are the two colors. We have kind of a hallway here, empty, a loft space with just kind of some leftovers from the kind of container home they lived in. I pretty much got rid of everything. Also, I'm losing my voice. One second. I think because I'm just anxious and annoyed that my screen recorder is being difficult and it's now like my throat's closing. <laughs> uh, got one bathroom upstairs and three bedrooms. This is Tiffany's bedroom. She does like the color red, which I kind of forgot when I was dressing her, but also you don't always wear your favorite color. So I was more focused on what she grew up with. But that's her room, pretty basic right now. Bradley has basically a white nursery. Okay, so Jennifer's favorite color is white. He has a white nursery, but with some green kind of accents. Cause again, those are the parents' favorite colors. We'll see what happens when he becomes a kid. Lucy's room takes some cues from the old room that she had, but otherwise it's a pretty new setup. I'm gonna move that real quick, just because you don't want your chair by the drawers. And yeah, uh, real quick here, let me open up. I'm not prepared. Seriously, I was so mad that it crashed. It crashed yesterday and I had to just walk away. <laughs> I was like, nope, I'm walking away before I scream. So just a refresher, John Burb is supposed to reach the top of the education career. I don't know if he's gonna do that, which means one of his kids is gonna have to. Jennifer Burb is supposed to reach the top of the natural science career. She might do it. Also, I don't know why their ages are so different. Cause I thought they still aged even though they were pregnant, but I don't know. Lucy needs to get a plus basically in school and keep the A plus until she's an adult. So like once she hits adult, if she had an A plus at that point, it counts for the requirement for Sims State. Is she looking to the side? Oh no, it was just the way that her hair was. It looks like she's looking sideways and it's very cute. Um, anyways, yeah, and she in theory is supposed to maximize all of her skills. I don't know if she's gonna be able to do that. She's also a pleasure sim, so she's not gonna want to. That might go to somebody else. We will see. And then Tiffany and Bradley don't have anything. And lastly, before we can begin, there was no random occurrence scenario for their households this round, which is great because I don't want to deal with that. So John has everything he needs to get a promotion, so I don't have to worry about him. Jennifer needs things. She needs all the things. 
so let's have her go study cleaning. I don't know where she just went to, but okay. Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer. That was concerning to me. Please stop. <laughs> Lucy. Why don't you go to the bathroom? She does want to get a job. I mean, that's good. All right, what are you doing with your brother? How about you just put him away? Then you go to the bathroom and then I'm gonna get her a job because she doesn't have a career requirement and it doesn't matter what she does as a teen, so we'll let her have the teen job. She also wants to sneak out with Bo. Okay, would you stop? Okay, Jennifer, good job. Now you need to go logic. Go study mechanical, because... Oh yeah, I bought him a telescope when I was playing before. I'll have to rebuy the telescope. How about you talk to your friend instead of just jumping on your bed? I like this friendship. I think Skipper and Tiffany should always be friends forever. That said, she does need to go to the bathroom. Beat, what are you doing? Why is everybody baby harassing? Why? I mean, I know why, because you're Sims, but like, stop it. You want a skill point? Well, great. We're working on cooking right now. So Tiffany, I'm kind of just, wait, no, do you have homework? If you do, you need to do it. So I would like for her to be another one of my A pluses, but we'll see. It was so much easier the last time I played. I don't know why this time I'm playing the challenge that it's been so difficult for me to get A plus students, but sure has been, sure has been. Oh, you can't play? Stop harassing your brother. Stop it. Stop. I'm gonna make you go study cooking again. Who is calling us? No. <laughs> Go away, Dawn. We don't appreciate you. Why are you baby harassing? You don't need to be baby harassing. It's the exact opposite of what you need to be doing. Leave your son alone. All right, now I can go by the telescope. If my game crashes this time, I'm hurling it into the sun. I think it hurt me. <laughs> it's like, I better behave. She sounds serious. I am serious. Although this just reminds me that I need to go back to the Theron bookshelf or bookstore and finish what I started. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Sort of like how I was having a lot of fun with the museum. Basically, I just like decorating spaces. Let's just be honest. This is what I like to do on this channel. Decorate spaces. Why didn't you serve dinner like I told you to? John, you're already on the list. You need to handle yourself. Thank you. Okay. He's complaining. Anyway. Of course you are. Of course you are. What is this? What is this choice that you made here? Good job, Jennifer. Since you weren't baby harassing, I'm actually trusting you with Bradley because I feel like you're the only one who should be allowed to handle Bradley. Oh, the dog's coming home. I don't know why my game, like whenever pets come home from work, all of a sudden it's just like <gasps> drama and it, it takes it a minute. It's always been like this. Like, I, I don't understand. Also look at the butterfly curtains. I wanted to incorporate those in the museum in the butterfly room so bad, but they just did not go. There's no windows in that room. Like, it's not necessary. <laughs> but I sure did want to. All right. We will also give Bradley a little cuddle and then put him back. Did John just get in the way of you feeding the baby? He sure did. He sure did. John Burb. Go watch TV for a minute. Jennifer is handling things. She's amazing. Then I'm gonna 
have her go have this. He wants to woohoo, so we will allow it. I kind of hope they don't have any more kids, but I'm not, like, refusing to allow them to have more kids. Just personal preference. I don't think that they need any more. And she started her moon cycle, so we'll see. Make out woohoo. Lucy, how are you doing, friend? Miserable. Well, not miserable, but unhappy. I don't know why they keep sit they keep saying they can't sit at this table, but like I didn't even place that using like the grid off. So I don't know why they're complaining. Witch or bitchin'. Oh, I guess I technically just cursed. I try not to curse on these things, but like this is not a children's channel, so sorry. Sorry, I just try in general not to when I record things. It's also very hard for me because like, that is who I am as a person sometimes. Look at that fun go up, dang girl. All right, I'm gonna let you play on the couch for like two seconds because it makes you happy and that's it. It's Saturday too, so I can like send you to bed. So we're gonna send you to bed and then when you get up, you're gonna study cooking again, your favorite. I don't think anybody does anything today. Cause like he's a teacher, so he's not gonna go nowhere. He just wanna watch the dog though, so I will allow that. Yeah, she has Saturday off. Gross, what are you doing? Oh, you're handling your lady business. That's fine, you can do that. But then I would like you to go to the bathroom, or you don't have to go to the bathroom. Go take a shower, please. Oh, that's right. Okay, so this shower, I don't know why, but it's hateful and I find it rude. I find it a little rude. This is me just re-remembering all of the tiny little fixes I had to make. Yeah, like it just doesn't work. So I had to go use the ugly one, which is sad, but eh. I'm gonna save. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save. All right, no, 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 this is not at all what's happening. Watch the dog. The dog just went to Jennifer and was like, please save me. And John's like, oh, I must baby her ass. No, Benny. Benny. Benny's like, I do not want. Can the dog not go up the stairs? I don't know, let's just put him up here. I have a feeling the dog can't go up the stairs. Now try. No, Benny! And he's like, I really don't want to do this and I, I don't care. Sorry, Benny. Okay, now you can use the bathroom. And then... Handle yourself. Jennifer, what? What is this? I saw you feed the baby and I assumed you were taking care of it and I think that that was my mistake. My mistake. Another aside, I think that she wants, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, so she wants six pets to top their career so we probably are gonna adopt another pet. I think that's important. I don't know who just stole our newspaper, but it's fine. What are you, what are you doing? No, oh, what are you do I did not tell you to have snack cookies. I actually told you to eat. What are you, the couple that snacks together stays together? Oh, I don't like that. Look at his arm. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, I know you got cramps. You know what would make you feel better? Mac and cheese. Have some mac and cheese, go take a shower, clean your gross shower, because apparently it's gross and then see about adopting a pet. John is just obsessed with his wife. That's fair, that's fair, but also no. You got stuff to do. Kiddo, you also have stuff to do. Oh, you have homework. Please do that. Do not disappoint me. Tiffany's just kind of floating, because I don't really have anything to do with her, but... probably do something. John, who said you could just chill? Also, this is his new look, by the way. I don't know if I showed you that. I know towards the end of the last round. 
I gave him. I gave Jennifer a makeover, but I didn't know if I gave him a makeover. All right, call your friend and then you're gonna go to sleep. Bowling shirt guy, Edward, Edward Jones. Jennifer's also gonna need to call some friends. Well, one friend. How you doing? You, you learning about cooking? I'm stuck apparently in a lamp. That's not what I wanted. I, ju I just want to watch the girls be cute. Can, can I have this game? Can I have it? Can I have it please? I love that the hat stays on at all times as well. I think that that's ideal. Ideal. Oh, that's a choice, Jennifer. I think my pet adoption's broken. I was hoping that it wasn't and I was just making a mistake. I'm thinking that it was broken, but I do think it's broken. Yeah, see, she's now frozen. The pink flashing is a separate issue, but yeah, I don't know what I did. It was working. I have not installed anything for pets, but I have installed like other CC, but I've learned not to question. Weird stuff happens in The Sims. Oh, I'm gonna have to force error. I don't wanna do that. Wipe corrupt. Something was corrupt. Okay, that's concerning. Oh, well, there we go. That worked. All right, um, oh my gosh, you're cute. Oh my gosh, you're cute. I do want to get her adult dogs though, because she needs dogs that can have jobs. Oh, but the puppies are cute. Can cats have jobs? Also, why doesn't he have a face? Look at that one. <gasps> no, no, dog. Now, do you want Lulu? Let's get Moody. I feel like Jennifer would adopt Moody. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now call Barbara. Call Barbara. Is that one of the pleasant kids? Hi, pleasant kid. So this would technically be Lucy's aunt. <laughs> and so that would also be Tiffany's aunt. Go greet your aunt. I know it's weird. Oh, don't start flashing. Don't start pink flashing. She's like, well, you made me talk to a stranger and I'm not happy about it. So I'm gonna pink flash. Fine. Would you be friends with your aunt? That's what you can do. Hi, Moody. Welcome. Welcome. Why did you stop doing that? You're the one it picked? Stop harassing your brother. No, leave him alone. He's fine. Go and study cooking. You haven't got one cooking skill point today. Yeah, I don't think that's going to use those stairs. That's fine. I'm not mad about that. Good job, Moody. John Burb, put the baby in a bin. In fact, I'm gonna have him stargaze. Cause technically the abduction requirement doesn't say it has to be one sim and it doesn't really, like it could be anybody. So I'm desperate. So let's see if John Burb can get abducted. I think he'd be happy with that. Maybe. I don't know if he can have a baby at this point, but like, I feel like it would be okay. All right, you need to go help Bradley. Because as much as your husband baby harasses, he does not do diapers. And I don't know why, but we aren't speculating. We're not. Just put, him, put the little baby in his thing. Moody needs a job. Because Jennifer is on task. We don't have a newspaper, so you're in the way. Can you teach Moody anything? Give him a treat. Praise for not chewing the furniture. We love that about you, Moody. You're a great dog. You already know some tricks. That's fantastic. We learned to shake. Come on, get abducted. All right, I will let you eat after. Are you still? Oh, 
we do? How about you say goodbye to Janelle? Because you're tired. Oh, Janelle said goodbye. Okay, that's fine. Go to sleep. Yes. Sleep, my child. Good. Gonna save really quick again, just because I'm in... Mm, see? 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 All right. I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. I'm gonna play through to where we were and we'll see you in part two because I'm, I'm not I'm not having a good time. I don't know why the bird family hates me, but they're about ready to be yeeted into the sun. All right, so thank you for watching. If you like this video and you enjoy my frustration, definitely give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.